Okay, so most of us have seen a blue butterfly pea flower before, right? But today, I'm going to show you that you can also find a special fully white butterfly pea flower along the streets of Singapore. Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now here's so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hey, hello. So, you know, as Singaporeans, we are kind of like foodies by default, right? And one of my personal favourite things to eat is kueh kueh, especially kueh salad, right? And if you've eaten that before, you know that traditionally, that natural blue colouring in the rice is made from none other than the butterfly pea flower. And you can see this creeper plant and all its flowers all around Singapore. You know, either growing along the street side or as someone's house plant. So scientifically, this plant is called Clitoria tenetia. Um, yeah, uh, emphasis on uh, Tea, because if you didn't already know, this flower is the main ingredient in many of your magical colour-changing teas. So it's actually a really simple party trick and all you need to do is to, you know, boil some of these flowers in water to make the tea. And so as you can see here, I've got some dried ones, you know, to play with. Right, okay, so I'm going to put these dried flowers in here. And I'm going to add some, you know, like boiling water into this. Cover it. So naturally, if I stir this around, you know, obviously it's going to be blue, right? But once I add some lemon in, You see, it changed colour, right? It's now a purple-red colour. And so what happened is basically just a chemical reaction, right? Because inside that flower, there's a blue pigment called anthocyanin. And anthocyanin basically reacts with acid to turn into this reddish-purple colour. And this makes the flower a perfect natural pH indicator. But okay, I think you've probably seen that tea before and I think most of you have seen those blue butterfly pea flowers all around Singapore too, right? But how many of you have ever seen a white butterfly pea flower before, huh? Hmm, have you? Well, don't worry if you haven't because look at what we have here! So this is actually the exact same species, right? It's still Clitoria tenetia, right? But somewhere down the line, a genetic mutation happened and it resulted in something called flower colour polymorphism. But the cool thing is, you know, on top of scents, your pollinators like your bees and butterflies, they actually rely a lot on colour to help identify their favourite flowers to feed on. And so, for this white variation to persist, it could very well have a different set of pollinators from its blue siblings. And I think it's amazing how a simple thing like a colour change can affect the larger biodiversity. And okay, so you know, as scientific as I want this channel to be, sometimes there's just this curiosity itch that I need to scratch. And so, you know, since we're talking about colour change, I need to find out if this white flower, you know, without the blue pigment anthocyanin, will it still change colour when you add a lemon to it? And to be honest, I also don't know what will happen, so I'm also like reacting to this in real time. Uh. But you know, let, let's, let's find out. And okay, yeah, same thing here. So I've got this, you know, white butterfly pea flower. I'm going to add this in here. And I'm going to add some boiling hot water. You know, so I don't really think it would change colours because, you know, it's the anthocyanin that's changing colours, right? Not just the flower, but... Eh, but... Okay, wait, 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 wait. No way, okay, wait, wait, wait. So it is changing colours, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let me zoom in. Wait, wait. Okay, see it's changing. It's, like, it's very subtle, but it's like changing, you can see, right? It's like... It's... It's changing into a subscribe button, so can you please press the subscribe button, please? That was legitness. 
<laughs> okay, I am clearly joking, right? Because it's the anthocyanin that changes colours, right? It's not the flower in itself and, you know, the white flower, it clearly doesn't have that blue pigment. But yeah, this is still a perfect point to end the episode of and I just want to remind all of you to not overlook plants, right? Because all of these plants with all of their colourful flowers and leaves, they all have such interesting stories and interesting traits to learn from and who knows the next time when you walk past a plant, there's something fun that you can do with them. And as usual, before we go, I'd like to give a big shout out to our patrons. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu, Spot Match, you know, no, 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 Ingler, Hedger, Queen, Limpert, Muffin, Nana, Nana, Silamot, Jelly, Jets, Kappa, AA5, Pingu, Master, Jablock, Dango, Amal, Delo, Neko, Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Uncle Kiong, Fauzi, Raylan, All, Cooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Two Circles, Amy, Amy, Stacy, Lul, Quack Quack, and Mama and Momo. Thank you so much for supporting this channel directly and if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because who knows, that flower might turn green or green, this flower might turn blue or red or blue or red. I just had a blue pearl but you know what, I'm just going to keep it in. It's all very exposed but you know, that's just filming. Happy blooper, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you next episode.